We at Adobe are releasing some of our mobile apps onto the Chromebook. And so the apps that are going to be added to Chromebook are Lightroom, Illustrator Draw, Photoshop Sketch, Photoshop Mix, and Comp CC. The initial idea with the mobile apps was rapid ideation and removing blocks to ideation, which especially with students is a good thing. So they have been designed and developed in conjunction with people from schools, high schools, colleges, and industries. This is Photoshop Sketch. It's actually a very, very capable tool. In fact, if I show you just the segment from the community gallery, these are things that people have built in Adobe Sketch, and they've done those just in that app. So I'm just gonna brush here like so, and I want you to watch this really carefully. And if I choose another color to work with, as you would expect with two wet pigments there, they are merging together. So the advantage here for students, they don't have to learn a complicated tool set to work with these tools. They are designed to be intuitive and easy to use. So they can just use the device that they've probably got with them all the time and their finger, and then they can produce works and bring their ideas to life, and then when they need to, they can send those out to the bigger, more powerful industrial tools. So I'd quite like a picture in here. So I'll draw a frame in Adobe Comp CC and I'm using this to populate it with. So what I'm gonna ask you to do is to just smile quickly. There you go, see I can use that and drop that in there. Imagine if you're, if you're actually somewhere and you're documenting a visit, again, you can build out a publication that you can use. And in a nutshell, given that there's such an array of tools to talk about and so many different things you can do with them, including me importing the drawings that I do in Photoshop Sketch and Illustrator Draw and way beyond, that it's actually an ecosystem in its own right. So to get hold of the apps, all the students need to do is on their device, go to their app store and search Adobe and they'll find all of the apps there and then just download them. Even with a free account, they've got most of the functionality and they can start using them straight away.